What do you love best about the ocean? For some, it's the sight of a breaching humpback whale or a brown pelican gliding low across the water. Others like catching a wild salmon or an albacore tuna. But few people realize that all these big creatures depend on an abundance of tiny fish. Many just a few inches long. Forage fish like herring, smelt, and anchovies are the unsung heroes of the ocean food web. They eat tiny plants and animals such as plankton and then are eaten by bigger, more familiar species like sport fish, seals, whales, and seabirds. And with the growing global demand for protein, forage fish have become an increasing target for fishing by humans. Clustered in giant bait balls, they're easy to catch by the ton. But catching these species comes at the expense of everything higher on the ocean food web. By weight, Forage fish now account for more than a third of fish caught commercially worldwide, with 90% of that catch used for purposes other than human consumption. For feed, for livestock and farmed fish, for bait, for pet food, and for fertilizer. These are productive uses, but the negative consequences can outweigh the positive. The direct catch of forage fish is worth $5.6 billion to fishermen worldwide but they're worth twice as much in the water, about $11.3 billion, because of their value as food for the bigger fish we catch commercially. So it makes economic sense to leave plenty of these little fish in the ocean. And of course, they have value that can't easily be measured in dollars for birders, whale watchers, and others who appreciate the world's natural wonders. We need to set reasonable limits on fishing for forage fish. Many of these species now are not managed at all, meaning fishing can begin with no catch limits, no protections of any kind. Remember, these little fish are a really big deal in the ocean. It's our obligation to conserve them, not just for our own future use, but for the many other creatures that depend on them. Find out how you can help at pewenvironment.org slash pacificfish.